Now the question here is superficial part of submandibular salivary gland is in relation to all of the following except the options are insertion of the medial pterygoid, facial artery, platysma and lingual nerve with submandibular ganglion. So if I just discuss about the submandibular salivary gland, it has basically two parts. One is the superficial part and another is the deeper part. Now this particular gland is divided into the superficial and deeper with the help of a muscle. So suppose this is a J-shaped gland and we have a muscle that divides this particular gland into superficial and deeper. So the superficial is this and this is the deeper one. And I'll be just saying this particular muscle is going to be your mylohyoid muscle. This is the mylohyoid muscle. Now this particular muscle divides the gland into two, superficial and deeper. Now superficial further has three important surfaces. So one is your inferior surface, the second is your medial surface and then we have the lateral surface. Okay, these are the three surfaces which are important for the exam and these are the relation to these surfaces are asked. Okay, so first of all I will be telling you the uh, relations to the superficial part of the submandibular gland. So first of all uh, I will start with the inferior surface. Now the inferior surface is going to have the skin, the platysma the facial nerve facial nerve will be there actually the cervical branch the cervical branch of facial nerve then you have the deep fascia the facial vein and submandibular lymph nodes submandibular lymph nodes so these are to the inferior relation to the uh, to the relation of the inferior surface. Now coming to the lateral surface. So the lateral surface on the superficial part of the submandibular gland will have the submandibular fossa on the mandible. So the submandibular fossa that will be seen on the mandible will be to the lateral relation. Then we have the insertion of medial pterygoid and the third thing will be the facial artery. Now this facial artery will be in the relation of lateral part or lateral surface of the superior part, uh, the superficial part of the submandibular salivary gland. Then we have the third that is the medial surface. Now this medial surface is going to have further um, so many relations. So I'll just give you uh, the name of few very important. So one is going to be the mylohyoid. Then we have submental branch of facial artery. Then we have the mylohyoid nerve. Then we have hyoglossus, styloglossus, lingual artery and other too many structures are there. So yes, from all this discussion, we have come to a conclusion that these are the certain structures that are uh, in the superficial part of the submandibular salivary glands relation, right? So let's see the options and try to match these with the superficial part here. So the insertion of the medial pterygoid, yes, that will be there. The insertion of the medial pterygoid will be on the lateral aspect. Then we have the facial artery. Facial artery will also be on the lateral aspect of the uh, superficial part of the submandibular gland. Then you have the platysma that is related to the inferior part of the superficial part of the submandibular gland. So from exclusion itself, you'll get the answer. The answer is going to be four, that is lingual nerve with submandibular ganglion. Now this uh, lingual nerve, okay. Now this lingual nerve and the submandibular ganglion will be situated deeper to the deeper part of the submandibular gland. So these are going to be deeper to the deeper part of the uh, submandibular gland. So lingual nerve are the relation, are in the relation to the deeper part of the submandibular gland, even the submandibular ganglion is also in the deeper relation, right? So I'll just give you a brief review here. So as I have already told that the superficial part and the deeper part of the submandibular gland are divided by a muscle that is known as the mylohyoid muscle and the superficial part will be of course superficial to this mylohyoid muscle. 
but deeper part will be superficial to hyoglossus muscle and deep to the mylohyoid muscle. So it is obvious that if it is superficial to mylohyoid muscle, it has to be deep to the mylohyoid muscle. Important is that the hypoglossal muscle is going to be deeper to this particular deep part and there will be submandibular ganglion and the lingual nerve that will further be deeper to the deeper part of this particular gland. So coming back to the question here, we have the fourth option as the correct option because it is not in the relation of the superficial part but in the relation of the uh, deeper part in the submandibular salivary gland.